After 16 years, Eco plumbers, electricians, and HVAC technicians reached $44 million in revenue. Nine months after rebranding with KickCharge, they've reached $60 million. KickCharge gets results. Aaron Gaynor from Eco Plumbers, electricians, and HVAC technicians from Ohio. We just recently completed his rebrand about six months ago? Well, uh, about a year ago, we started the process. We officially went live with it nine months ago. Nine months market. ago. Aaron is probably one of the biggest clients that we had the opportunity to rebrand. They were at 44, 44 million, million. Yep. when we rebranded it. So I gotta say, at 44 million, that's scary. Well, it's a little nerve wracking to think about rebranding your to business say, to get to this point. Yeah. yeah, we have gotten to $40 million in revenue and now listen, we're gonna make a change. Why, why did we do that? Well, one is the you know the movement of moving from our multiple service lines. So right. Right, we're plumbing based only business. We started doing HVAC and we were like, we're gonna start doing electrical. So we wanted to rebrand because of the three trade lines. We also felt like it was just time to refresh the brand. I think just bringing some excitement to the to the company, the culture, and, yeah. and because of you. Because you and I chat too, right? So yeah. I will say yeah. that. You and I chatting, talking about it. and So uh, yours is one of those brands that I saw and I thought it was incredible what you had built with what you had. So you're into it now, almost six months or so roughly. Like what's been the feedback from the customers? What's been the feedback from the employees? How's that all been working out? Um, lots of people have said lots of positive stuff about it. I haven't heard anything negative from the marketplace. Customers, yep. I can see your trucks everywhere. They stand out more. We love the colors. For people, it was a, like a shock because it was like so, so different, different yeah. than what yeah. we had before. Right. Uh, so it took a little bit of time for some of the people I've been with for a while to settle in, but I think they were all, I don't think, I know they were all excited about the new look, the refreshing. Um, and the next evolution of our company is, I think, really what we we're going for here. And then the process was great too, right? One of the things that we talk about when you're ever considering rebranding is how much equity do we have in the color scheme? The process blue and the apple green were, were consistently used by you guys. And that was something that we felt we wanted to just carry into the new brand. Definitely when we had, I just was actually standing in our Dayton market and we had an old truck down there still for some reason sitting in the lot area with a box truck that's yeah. all the new ones. I said, whoa, and you just looked at it like the differences. You, you kind of forget as they've been rewrapped even in nine months, but we still have a few old ones. Like, I was like, get that done. Our billboards stand out brighter, stronger. Mm -hmm. Our literature has more vibrant like colors to it and it captures people. So over, overall, it's like really come together well. And we're, and we're still developing on it, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, the brand will never really yeah. be finished. The logo will be finished. Yeah. But how we expand upon that brand and all the different channels is something that we'll yeah. always be building on. So a lot of people, certainly at your level, really, really fearful like about doing this. What would you say to somebody that's like, no, nah, like it's working, I don't need to change. Like, what about that mindset and, and why were you different in that sense? So I think uh, one thing is for me is like, I think reinventing yourself and your brand is important along the way without losing the equity of who it is, who, who you are, the culture of who you are, right? But you need to reinvent as you yeah. move forward. And as we started looking at, yeah, we made it to 44 million, but that wasn't our goal. 100 million is our goal, 250 million, and then, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe a billion one day, right? So yeah. we looked at it and said, all right, yeah, we're doing good if this is how we, what we want to stay and be. Uh, but we were looking and saying, what would take us to another level from a brand and how we deliver that message? And even how we wrote all of our brand story. Right, how we, right. we, I mean, we did everything. Yeah. To, the, to be able to take us to the next level. And not because what we had wasn't working, it's because we believe what we could have would work better. It would work better, absolutely. And 44 when we started, I think last time we checked is like around 60 million. Yeah, we're revenue. pacing out to about 60 million. 60 yep. million, and that's like nine months, six months, roughly, whatever, yeah. since we started. That's crazy, that's amazing. Working with me and the team, how was that experience? It's been great, that's good. I'm not, yeah, I'm not bullshit, it's been good. Team's always been responsive, helped us through. We had, you guys know we had a lot of trucks and a lot of different models oh, yeah, of trucks right. to change oh because of yeah. uh, because of COVID. We had to buy any truck we could get our hands yeah. on. So we had tons of different trucks, different models. Uh, your team always came through, made sure all the wraps were good, everything was good. We were back and forth a decent amount. You guys always stayed on it. Um, we enjoyed it. It was good, good experience, and especially the back and forth on the portal messages with you guys, and you yeah. always came through, man. Especially even you checking in with me on. Yeah, it. absolutely. So, appreciate it, man. All right, brother. Thanks, pal. I appreciate absolutely. it. Man.